<laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh my goodness, how are you today? Well, if I was a dog and I had a tail, I'd be wagging it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm almost as good as you then, because if I was any better, I would cancel my OHIP. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> so we're both in the right place at the right time. That's all I can say to everybody that's watching us. So fabulous Friday to everybody that's here with us. I am so honored and so privileged. Um, Mr. Pierre Gillant, uh, Jean, PJ, I would like to call you PJ. You gave me permission, right, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. PJ is fine because otherwise it's Pierre Jean and yeah, or Pierre Jean. If you can say Pierre Jean, that's that's Jean. Pierre Jean. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pierre Jean, Gallant. Um, I'm so honored to actually that you actually took up the time. You're a very very busy man. I know that uh, you have your hands full because you have twin boys. You're a husband you're running multiple businesses and here we are on Friday and I have you for what, maybe five minutes. I'm going to that's time right, you. That's right. I'll time us or you can let me know when we have to stop. The reason I want to have you on here today was because you're bringing so much value to your community as well as business owners all over the world. And just recently, something has strung up that you actually decided that you wanted to um, be a part of Lana for success. And in that, you're, in that, you wanted to make sure that people that are in business get some additional knowledge that they may have missed when they became a business owner or an entrepreneur. And wow. I can just say big wow. You ever see those cartoons and you see Shazam or Pow? Well, there's a big wow right now over my head. Can you see it? I can see it. Okay. So <laughs> please share with everybody just a little snippet of what they can look forward to coming into not one series. And did I mention that it's a free series, five week series that you're putting on free? Please just share a little bit of that. All right. So, uh, Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm, uh, I'm humbled by all of the compliments. Um, basically, uh, Tammy, we've been working, my firm, Complete CU Services, uh, has been around for five years now. Uh, prior to that, I was, uh, I was uh, in the banking industry for 25 years. Um, and during my career, I did pretty much everything. And the most interesting part of my career, I would say, was uh, the last 15 or last 12 years, where um, I did a lot of work with uh, corporate businesses. Uh, we, I would lend uh, money to uh, corporations, mid-market, uh, small businesses. And part of that was um, you know, giving advice to clients, uh, whether it was, uh, you know, uh, rollover of the inventory or their services and how to how to do that and and subsequent to that I joined internal audit and compliance uh, when I was in the compliance role I was in charge of five provinces in one territory uh, for a major bank anyway all that uh, when I went into internal audit with all the experience that we have in business uh, we were able to um, you know, find cost efficiencies. And that was the role of the internal auditor. So, because we're a cost center. So that permitted me to, um, to, to also help businesses. When I started my own business uh, with my partner, Ray, um, at that time, we uh, started to go to the credit unions, et cetera. What became very popular for us uh, in terms of internal audits is culture business culture audits. So the, the five part, part series is really a preparation for either you want to become an entrepreneur or a small business owner, or you already have a business, it's been operating for 30 years. These are fundamental uh, things that as we grow in our businesses, we kind of forget some of these principles. And these principles are very important. So the first thing that we're 
we're going to be looking at in the five part series, which starts Monday, the 21st at noon, is uh, the business risk. So, to risk or not to risk. Mm. Uh, everyone has different uh, perceptions of risk depending on your background. Um, you can be a very averse to risk, or you can, you know, uh, depending on on a lot of uh, different different uh, things. Um, so the idea is, if you don't take enough risk, if you if your if your tolerance to risk is very low, well, your business is not going to go anywhere. And if you're too high, you're willing to to gamble on anything then also you would fail. So what we're looking for is really, and this is what we'll be talking about, is how do you balance that? And how do you evaluate either your own as a, as a leader of your, of your business and the mixture of staff, if you have staff, because everybody you know, contributes to the atmosphere of, the, of, the, of, the, of your business and either some of them also have uh, uh, directors, uh, board of directors and audit committees. Mm. They all have an influence on your business risk and where you're going to go. So that's yeah. the first part, really. And there's reputational risk, there's strategic risk, there's market risk, there's economic risks. So these are things that you really have to look at. The second one is um, tone at the top. So where we'll be looking at how, who do you hire? What, what are your own values? Um, and how is that consistent with the rest of your, uh, uh, with the rest of your business? So this is amazing. Can I just stop there for a second pause? Because the very first segment is so huge. Because when you talk about risk, usually, Mr. Gallant, that's what happens when you're investing when you're going into some type of investment, whether it's property, stocks, or shares, you always have a consultation from that area and that perspective of where you are. But no one has really, I don't think, really touched on the risks that are involved in business. And you know, the sad thing is that many of us have already been in business, and some people have been in business for years with a brick and mortar. And now, because of the world, finally people recognizing the world of internet has been changing how business is from brick and mortar to click and order. So exactly. you're going to get to expand on the risk that's actually taking place right now. It's, listen, this, this is not a coincidence. Uh, the timing that you're going to be able to sharing this information. I'm just excited. I mean, you and I can talk forever. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So that's what we have. To limit our... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the risk factor, um, that really hits a nerve for me and so many people that I've spoken with over the years, and that's a missing ingredient. So thank you for bringing that up as one of the topics. So sorry, continue, because you just had me at risk. Yeah, uh, another part, too, uh, on that is, is uh, succession planning, right? So during the pandemic, um, the companies that, I, that, I, that I'm contracted with um, you know, they had to change their whole business model within 24 hours because of the pandemic. So uh, a lot of them had succession planning, but how do you, how do you adapt to that? How do you, you know, so that was something that was important to, in business, you always have to be proactive, even though, like we were talking about succession planning and uh, uh, business continuity plans, for years and years, since, since 2004, I believe, or after the 9-11. The um, and nobody would say, ah, this is impossible. There's nothing that's going to happen. Well, you know, there's uh, computer viruses um, and, uh, you know, this pandemic. Who would have ever, if somebody was walking around with a mask last year, you would have said, what, what's going on, man? Like, uh, you know, so, so, you always have to be prepared. So risk is a very important factor or, or you know, um, so anyway, yes. Uh, I'm, taking second, notes as you, I'm taking notes as you're talking. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that a little bit uh, more on Monday. Um, the third factor is really about market, marketing your business. 
Uh, we'll talk a little bit about social media. We'll talk about the importance of that, but also the balance between social media and tailoring your product or your service to your customers. That's the main thing. And uh, we'll do a little example of what a SWOT analysis is, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, uh, which, you know, you, you do that in your first business plan, but it kind of fades away, but it always has to be in your strategy. So this has to be continuous, uh, uh, continuously proactive, because of everything that changes. So again, uh, before the pandemic, you could have said, well, if I was a financial institution, oh, I'm doing great, whatever. Uh, we're getting a lot of mortgages and, and you know, business is doing really well. The interest mm -hmm. rates ticked up just a bit. Yeah. And the pandemic hits and now you're worried about, well, who's going to be paying my mortgage, right? The mortgages that I have as a lender. Yeah. So um, it's always important to make sure that we're looking at the, you know, at, at the whole market and how the economic market works. Uh, and the fourth uh, uh, part of the series is mainly around uh, business structures. So what can you, you know, what type of business structures there are, um, corporations, what's the difference, uh, even with uh, Revenue Canada, or, uh, you know, if you're from another country, the IRS, or uh, yeah. how, how, how does that affect the structure of your business? How does that affect you in taxes? Yes. How you can structure or, or chart of your, of your business. And finally, the last episode is really about ratios. So all these, all these episodes are to prepare you if ever you need to go to a bank, go to a credit union yeah. or, you know, but basically it's, it's to give you more profitability, be more efficient. Uh, and these are the root causes of most of the, uh, I wouldn't say mistakes, but most of the inconsistencies are through not thinking about your risk, not thinking about the tone at the top and what you're relaying, what type of influence you have on your, on your employees. And then comes the market, then comes, I would say, the structure, because it's less kind of, a, it gives you less of an impact. And then finally, uh, you know, how would you present yourself to a financial institution? Wow. Just amazing. I'm the wow again. W O W. <laughs> it's flashing. You know, just how you have something flashing there. I think I probably have to carry a sign for myself that says, wow. <laughs> you know, um, everything that you're going to share, Pierre. I really want people to realize that it doesn't matter how long you've been in business. Um, some people like to think it's for startups and entrepreneurs, but in all honesty, if you're in business, you need to hear this. Absolutely. You what, what I... really important. You said something really important that it might be something that people know, but they're going to get updated and refreshed on. And being proactive is so much more important now than ever before. You know, from this whole digital world to well, you said things are changing really quickly. So if you're in business for, for how many years, it's beneficial for them to hear what's happening now. And you're the right person at the right time to bring the information that everybody needs. It's just amazing to me. I just can't wait for it. So are you going to be able to sleep, you think, for the next couple of nights or what? You're going to be working all night on this or what's going on with you for the next couple of days? <laughs> I probably will uh, wait until... Uh two hours before the present, the, the first episode, and then I'll yeah. start to panic, yes. <laughs> That's the way I'm built. That's the way you're built? Well, we're very similar. So you can give me a call, message me. Um, if there's anything else that we can do for you, um, please just, you know, just give us a little shout. Atlanta for Success, we're so happy and so honored that you have chosen to be a member with Atlanta for Success. And more importantly, that you also have caught the vision uh, that is actually projected with, we're all about serving others and helping people to raise up. I don't think people know this about you, but you're extremely successful and you have chosen for many years now to put your success aside so you can see other people succeed. Yes. And it's going to bring a tear to my eye because in business, 
you don't always see that, nor do we even get to experience it up close and personal. So I want to thank you for that, that sentiment and for your heart. And I'm so looking forward to this session that are taking, that's going to be taking place next week, uh, four or five weeks. We have five weeks in, in total and learned a lot more about you and how we can actually work together on future collaborations. Amazing. Thank you so very much, Pierre. Fantastic. Thank you, Tammy. Bye-bye, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Ciao. Okay. So that was really great. Thank you so very much. Just nice and casual. We have good conversation.